السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ فرینڈز ویلکم بیک ٹو مائی چینل ٹوڈے آئی ڈیزائنڈ دس آئسولیشن ٹرانسفارمر ٹو پاور آف مائی ڈی ایس او پاور آف مائی ایسیلوسکوپ آئی پرچیزڈ سم لو کوالٹی آئسولیشن ٹرانسفارمر اینڈ آفٹر پیسیج آف ٹائم بائی اپلائنگ آ لوڈ اٹ ڈیمیج اٹس وائنڈنگ was open from many points it makes parking because its quality was compromised so i opened it to find the problem so finally it was damaged not to purchase a new one i modified an existing transformer this transformer is basically 300 watt ups transformer it is normally used for computer uh, pcs small ups with 6 volt battery so i prepared this transformer to power up to take 120 volt 150 volt it is now isolated what is isolation what is isolated transformer in isolation transformer basically we have two winding like a standard transformer generic transformer it have a primary it have a secondary as per my desires as per my requirement i take many outputs from this transformer to use in future basically i was requiring minimum 115 volt or 100 volt to power up my dso oscilloscope so i take winding for 115 volt the second 106 volt 90 volt 62 volt 27 volt while i was applying 220 volt when apply 230 volt in transformers the voltage increase or decrease with input voltage because it is not a regulated it is just only turn ratio based transformers primary and secondary windings have no physical electrical connection to each other the voltage and primary will ma- create a magnetic field and it will cause to induce voltage in secondary windings and we take output voltage with turn per volt ratio the other type that is auto transformer in auto transformer we use only one winding that winding is center taped and the ratio between the lower turns and upper turns will determine the output voltage for example we have 1000 turns and we apply 220 volt and we make a center tape winding with 500 turns out of 1000 turns we are taking output from 500 turns so it will divide by 2 if we apply 220 volt we will take 110 volt but the line and the neutral the neutral or the line will pass directly to the next circuit here line and neutral are making their own circuit and the next circuit is totally insulated isolated separated from the primary so it is transferring voltage on magnetic field similarly here step down it is step up if we are applying 1000 220 volt to 1000 turns and we have another turns in the series so we will take double voltage here for example here i applied 220 here we will take 440 volt so it is step up step down and similarly we can make step up or step down transformer similar to turn ratio based method so here we are taking 119 volt that's awesome and when i turn off this power supply it will return back to 122 volt when power on it is 120 volt so it drops 2 volt that's good because in transformers it drops some voltage but it is not a too much uh, voltage drop it is good the other outputs of this transformer from this winding i will take around 26 volt the second output it is 60 60 volt 62 volt with load it is 60 volt that's good and this winding 104.6 we can say 105 volt and this section will provide 88.89 we can say 90 volt 
we can use turn per volt method to modify a transformer let's check its isolation as I discussed isolation is separation of the windings that there is no electrical connection set multimeter to ohms if you want to check isolation of any transformer this time I connected the outermost ends of the transformer it is giving 9 ohms the first winding it is 2.1 ohms the second 4.7 ohms the third winding 6.7 and the fourth winding it is 7.9 and the last most output that is the end it is 9.2 it is the secondary side test now we can connect connect one test lead to one end of the secondary winding and the second test lead to one side of the primary winding so we don't have any resistance here it should not have any resistance now one lead is connected here second lead connect to the chassis the core so it is open that's good winding should not have any connection with the core now the primary side primary side 16.9 ohms and connect one lead to the primary input terminal and to the chassis so it is open it's good so this is the isolation testing of any transformer it must be insulated because these two windings are electrically insulated from primary to secondary in our upcoming video we will discuss how we can disassemble how we can calculate turn per volt ratio by existing winding in this method I used to calculate just only the secondary windings this transformer the original transformer it was 7.5 and 7.5 volt with center tape output there was another 16 volt winding for secondary side so I removed the both windings for 16 volt and 7.5 7.5 windings and I calculated the voltage and finally I calculated the number of turns and finally I make manual winding in manual winding there is slight difference slight uh, might be voltage up or down sometime that transformers make sound or uh, become heat up noises but this transformer is functional it is working good no sound so you can watch the upcoming video for more details to find the complete procedure to make your own isolation transformer you can also use iso that isolation transformer for your workbench if you want to design it with the high power output you can design it thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh